Are you kidding? Of course you enjoyed The Last of Us, but the ending, however, was more ambiguous. Not that it wasn't the right ending for what Joel and Ellie had experienced, only that it hinged on a moral ambivalence and a feeling that nothing more needed to be said. It was less a conclusion and more a sort of sense of understanding. That's the dilemma facing The Last of Us DLC left behind. There's no need for a sequel, but it's a situation Naughty Dog neatly sidesteps. Sadly, we can only show you two minutes or so of gameplay today subject to embargoes, but do subscribe to the channel and return for more footage once Left Behind is released. The game is split into two narrative strands. One chronicles a slightly younger, more innocent Ellie and her adventures with her close friend Riley. The other explores how Ellie keeps Joel alive after his impalement at the University of Colorado, which was previously left to your imagination. In the former strand, we join Ellie and Riley on an explorative day trip to patch up a former altercation. Ellie's less cynical, she's more vulnerable, and because of her trust in Riley, like a lot more forthcoming. Narrative really drives these sections, and certainly not the game's mechanics. There's little to do bar listen to the back and forth between Ellie and Riley, not in itself a bad thing, but there's hardly any fighting and precious few puzzles. There's a neat section involving childhood tomfoolery and a riff on arcade fighter stick controls, but you're really here for the story. That's not necessarily a criticism, the story is genuinely moving, even if it doesn't really add anything significant to the overall story. We already know how Riley's story ends, but that sense of foreboding or the sense of inevitability doesn't make living in the moment any less consuming. The second strand is more of a fetch quest. Joel is out for the count and Ali needs a kit to patch him up. The storyline's less satisfying than the flashbacks, but it's action-packed and enjoyable because there's a lot more to do. Ellie works her way through a shopping mall in search of supplies, she tackles stalkers, clickers, human foes and there's also some kind of lateral thinking conundrums. She can also craft weapons and supplies much like the original game. There's no doubting the quality, the only question you need to ask yourself is whether it's worth the price of admission. You need to pay £11.99 for Left Behind on its own, or £15.99 for a season pass. It's wonderful to revisit the world, it genuinely is, but the story adds little significant and it can be completed in around one, maybe two hours on normal difficulty. It might help to think of it as a wonderful set of DVD extras. The asking price is undeniably steep and it all hinges on your attitude to paying £11.99 for a short but gripping yarn which is spun through a series of high quality and effectively like deleted cutting floor scenes. If you like this video, please click or clicker the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more Left Behind very soon.